it's time for love readings. You're going to get the most out of this love reading if you watch it for your moon sign. This video right here, if you haven't seen it, will tell you why. There's a link in the description box below so you can go right to that to find out why. Um, but regardless of whether you're watching this for your moon sign, which you should be, um, or, or not, whatever, um, I just wanna tell you what we are covering today. What do you need to let go of? Um, what what are you attracting this month in regards to love? What's out of your control? And then what act, what do you need to take action on? We're going to look at singles, couples, and then it's complicated situations. So that could be polyamorous. Maybe um, you're talking to each other, but it's not Facebook official yet. On again, off again, whatever that is. I'm going to do singles first, then couples, and then it's complicated last. The reason being because sometimes when it's complicated, pieces of the single reading and the couple's reading will resonate hard for you and you might wanna go and watch those pieces as well. Okay, um, I think I already said, but this reading is from now until June 15th. Um, and the reason why I go half month to half month is because I put out the general readings at the beginning of every month and then money readings um, also right after that. So let's get started. Oh, I'm using the Gilded Tarot deck today. If you're wondering what that's about, there is a link in the description box below if you want to purchase one. I don't sell them, but um, if you get it through the affiliate link, I might get like two or three cents from that and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So you're just helping a sister out to keep making these videos. Gemini singles, what do you need to let go of? And they're saying, let go of this desire that you have to go and talk things through about the past. You know, don't go and revisit your past and try to work through things. Don't go calling an ex. Don't go and, you know, try to hash out the details of what went wrong because it's not helping you move forward in order to find love. What are you attracting right now? They're saying, well, you're not really attracting anybody like to approach you right now because it seems like you're not moving on. You're not moving forward. And so even if you don't think that you're putting that vibe out there, that you um, are not over an ex or something like that, or maybe you feel like you are, there's still something about your insides, like you're maybe on a subconscious level, that is still going back and revisiting that. So for some of you, um, this is like totally obvious. For others of you, this just might be, you know, maybe because of something that happened in your past, you're afraid of attracting a certain kind of person or you're afraid of being cheated on again or you know who knows what so anyway um you're not really attracting much right now just until we clear that energy which is why they started with that's what you need to let go of what's outside of your control in your love life and they say that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger right um, what has happened, but they say, you know, getting focused on the little details of that, again, something to let go of. So what is it that you need to take action on? And they're like, just remembering that slow and steady wins the race. You know, healing from things, even identifying what those things are, if, especially if they're in the subconscious is hard, but day by day, little by little, um, makes a big result, okay? It'll help you get everything back on track. So for Gemini couples, they're saying you need to let go of this need to talk, 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 talk about everything all the fucking time. Now, um, it's kind of a Gemini trait. You are probably the chattiest sign that there is. So easier said than done, right? Um, what are you attracting into your relationship? Um, well, you're attracting like nostalgia and happy memories. So at least that's different than the singles where it might not be um, such pleasant stuff. What's outside of your control? And they're saying... Um, that maybe your partner hasn't completely put everything behind them. You know, maybe they haven't released all of their own fears and maybe you haven't either, but that's not totally um, within your control. And they're, cause they're saying, you know, your happy family or, you know, current relationship situation, it gets a little bit strained sometimes because of that, um, but there's nothing really you can do about it, at least not this month. So what is it you need to take action on in your relationship? And they're just saying the areas that are not successful, you know, where you don't feel like you're um, winning, <laughs> you know, right now, um, they're saying, if you're gonna talk about these things, ask your partner maybe what they need to see more of from you or what they're not seeing from you that they need. And it might hurt to hear it, but that's how we move forward from it and develop a stronger bond. So if you're going to 
persist with these conversations. It needs to be, you know, okay, I'm accepting the pain here. And now what am I going to do about it? The action has to take place after what, you know, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger is sort of the theme. Now, for those of you in complicated situations, what is it that you need to let go of? And they're saying, um, continuing to always put yourself first and to not be really enthused. <laughs> okay, so what are you attracting right now into this situation? And they're saying nothing really to be honest um, because you've changed your mind. You started seeing things from a different perspective. What's outside of your control? Well, um, there's a little bit of toxicity, a little bit of addictive quality um, here. So, you know, if you're in an on again, off again relationship, maybe you feel like you literally can't step away from it, that it's never going to fully go away. And to a certain degree, maybe that's true until a certain lesson is learned. It might be um, a soul contract or something that you have, but you know, maybe it's not great for you. So what is it that you need to take action on? And they're just saying, get more rest, you know, take a rest as much as you can, maybe a rest from the situation or just get better and um, higher quality sleep, but they're like basically just you're not supposed to be doing much right now. Basically do nothing is the answer.